Every artist has a different style or speciality. For me, I love the invisible effect, taking reality and improving it a little bit. I trained up as a VFX artist at one of the top VFX houses in London. It was a great time. I worked on some incredible music videos and TV commercials, and having worked in many different places, I've now settled in Vietnam. I love the people, I love the culture, and there are so many incredible locations right on my doorstep. Time-lapse photography was a perfect way to combine my passion for shooting incredible images with my professional skills as a VFX artist. I can replace the sky, I can add stars in, adding in fireworks. There's no limit to what you can do. About two years ago, DJI commissioned me to use the Osmo to capture some great images here in Saigon. As I experimented with different techniques, I realized that it allows for a completely new way of shooting hyperlapse. Before the Osmo, shooting a hyperlapse was a really boring and clunky technique. I never felt that I could get the fluid effect that I was after. Now I can shoot beautiful 4K raw video and create the time lapse in post. And when you add the Inspire 2 into the mix, the possibilities are endless. The Saigon Hyperlapse got a lot of attention and it won Travel Photographer of the Year. So DJI asked me to work on aerial time-lapse techniques. Shooting time-lapse with the Inspire 2 is all about automation. Using Ground Station Pro, I can pre-plan a beautiful camera move with the Inspire following a curved flight path, smoothly changing altitude to get exactly the shot that I want. It's so accurate that I can repeat the same move at a different time of day for a beautiful day to night transition. Like having a three kilometer long track and dolly in the sky that you can lay down in minutes. The maximum duration of the shot is dictated by the battery life. I'll use up some juice just getting to the first position. I'll also need to leave enough charge to get me home safely. With the Inspire 2, I have up to double the battery life. So in practical terms, that triples my shooting time. Living in Southeast Asia, I'm often having to shoot in the blazing sunlight. So I use the Crystal Sky Monitor, and it just means that I can view what I'm shooting even in the midday sun. Once I'm done shooting, it's time for my favorite part, tweaking the footage in post. The first thing I do is speed the whole thing up 50 times, review my rushes, make selects, adding more complicated time warps in there, work on a really beautiful colour grade and makes it look like a really nice finished project. As a time-lapse photographer, I've been stuck on the ground for the last 10 years and the Inspire has changed all of that. There are so many creative ways to apply this technology and I can't wait to see where it leads me.